Poe. I'm the chairman of Georgia Injury Attorneys. Uh, you may know us as the People's Champs. Yeah. I'm accompanied by the managing partner of my law firm, attorney Jamie Cox, who's here with me today as well. One of the missions of our law firm is to identify and partner with people and organizations who shine in their journey to make our community stronger and better educated. Along those lines, I was introduced to Dan Moore Sr. by his liaison and mentee, my friend, Dr. Latangela Crossfield, for the purpose of learning more about him, the Apex Museum, and how our entities could help each other. This meeting took place just seven years ago, and I mentioned that to say, while many of you have known him for decades, I personally known Dan Moore only since uh, he was in his 80s, early 80s. So I'm here to say that Dan Moore Sr. was the same mover and shaker in his 80s that you've known him to be throughout his life. Yes. If you wanted to do yeah. business with the Apex Museum, have an event there, yeah. or bring someone by for a tour, and you ask anyone for approval on any matters, the response you got was, you got to talk to senior. <laughs> <laughs> so every time I call through and I'd be given Mr. Senior, Mr. Danmore Senior's cell number, call him and I say, you know, how you doing, sir? Very meagerly. And uh, he was always responded very strongly, could it be better? Mm -hmm. How about you, brother? How can I help you? Sort of like in the military when that officer makes you stand up right and say it the right way. He always gave you a stronger spirit and um, it would always lead to a productive conversation. In a nutshell, Dan Moore Sr. was a great businessman, a social justice gladiator, an author, a documentary filmmaker, and of course, a trailblazing historian. But to me, what made him most special and unique was his disarming presence and humility to be such a great man. He was simply available to talk and help anyone who came his way. Other than my own father, Dr. Brooker Poe, no one inspired me more than Mr. Dan Moore Sr. He taught me through the way he moved and what he accomplished that if you reach into your heart, believe in your vision, and stand behind it with pride and purpose, the best of you will be manifested and you will shine brightly and people will help you, especially if you treat all people whom you would encounter with decency and integrity, as Dan Moore Sr. always did. So I'll leave with sharing some good news. Just five months ago, I stood with Mr. Moore when he became the first, the, excuse me, the fourth ever recipient of the Lifetime Achievement Award at the 13th Annual Rising in Community Excellence Awards Ceremony. And he gave an unforgettable speech, which was all day of war, full of fire, history, passion for what has been achieved, and hope and many, many, many ideas for what we can do in the future to ensure that more people know our true history. Dan Moore Sr. aspired to retell Atlanta history and black history, but in the process, he became history. An unforgettable figure in Atlanta, much like Maynard Jackson, Hank Garrett, or Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. And I believe, as long as we support his family now, First Lady Estella, Dan Jr., Eddie, and the many grandchildren and great-grandchildren here, in keeping his beautiful memory, the Apex Museum, moving forward, then he will be forever looking down from heaven with a smile saying, I couldn't be better. How about you, brother? Thank you. Mm -hmm.